Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is use of multipliers. Means this is the second method to find the solution of symmetrical simultaneous differential equation. Last lecture we have already discussed the first method to find the solution of symmetrical simultaneous differential equations, and the first method was of grouping. Grouping method. Now the second method is use of multiplier to find the solution of symmetrical simultaneous differential equations. This is the topic from first unit LD linear differential equations with constant coefficients. Now, what is you how to find the solution for symmetrical simultaneous differential equations using the multipliers? See, we know that the property of ratio and proportion. Now the uh, form of symmetrical simultaneous differential equation is dx upon p is equal to dy upon q is equal to dz upon r, where p, q, r are the functions of x, y, z. Now using the property of ratio and proportion, we can write this uh, symmetrical simultaneous differential equation dx upon p is equal to dy upon q is equal to dz upon r is equal to L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z upon L P plus M Q plus N R, which is also equal to L one D X plus M one D Y plus N one D Z upon L one P plus M one Q plus N one R. Now, uh, what is here L? What is M? What is N here? Or uh, what is L one? What is L M one? What is N one here? This is a set of multipliers. L M N is the first set of multipliers. After multiplying P by L, Q by M, and R by N, if we do the addition of all the terms L P plus M Q plus N R, then it is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, then L M N is the first set of multipliers. And we are multiplying that P Q R by L M N respectively. So you multiply the numerator also by L M N, so that you will get the term L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z. Similarly, if we multiply P Q R the denominator terms by L one M one N one, and we we do the addition of all the terms, then the addition is zero. And in that case, L one, M one, N one is the second set of multipliers. Now we are multiplying the denominator terms by L one, M one, N one. So you have to multiply the numerator terms also by L one, M one, N one respectively. So that we will get the numerator term L one d x plus M one d y plus N one d z. So here is the explanation. Where L M N and L one, M one, N one are the multipliers. They are. They may be in the form of variables or constants. Where L M N and L one M one N one are the multipliers, constants or variables. They are in the form of variables or constants. We choose L M N and L one M one N one in such a way that that L P plus M Q plus N R is zero and L one P plus M one Q plus N one Z is equal to zero. Uh, well, sorry, n one r is equal to zero. In place of z, there is the term here r. Uh, we can replace it by that. This is the term here. It is r n one r. There is one small correction, so you can uh, here it is r. Okay, in place of in place of z. There is the term R. Okay. So L P plus M Q plus N R is equal to zero, and L one P plus M one Q plus N R N one R is equal to 
zero. Then the numerators are also zero. I have explained it that if we are uh, multiplying the denominator terms by L M N, then we have to multiply the numerator terms also by L M N. So that we have the term L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z is equal to zero. If denominator is zero, then numerator is also zero. So we can write L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z is equal to zero. Similarly, for the second set of solution, that if denominator term L one P plus M one Q plus N one R is equal to zero, then the numerator term is also zero. L one D X plus M one D Y plus N one D Z is equal to zero. That is the term here. The term is here. L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z is equal to zero, and L one D X plus M one D Y plus N one D Z is equal to zero. Now the variables are separated, so integrating we get first set of solution u of x y z is equal to c one, and for second set means second equation L one D X plus M one D Y plus N one D Z is equal to zero. Here is again the one correction that. Term is here. This term is here. X. Okay. In place of Z, there is the term. It is not dx. It is L1. It is not Z. L1 dx plus M1 dy plus N1 dz is equal to zero. And if we integrate it. We integrate these both the equations, so then we have the solution u of x y z is equal to c one, and u of x y z is equal to c two. So these are the two sets of solutions here. So equation one and two together constitute the solution of the system. Like the uh, first uh, method, grouping method, there also we have uh, two sets of solutions like that. Here also in the second method. Method of multiplier. There are two sets of solutions here. Now see the example. The example part. Solve dx upon m z minus n y is equal to d y upon n x minus l z is equal to d z upon l y minus n x. This is the uh, clear that. It is symmetrical simultaneous differential equation. Now we want the solution for this differential equation, and you know that the, there are two methods, either grouping or method of multipliers. Now we cannot do the uh, we cannot use here the grouping method because in denominator the subtraction terms are there, so we cannot separate the variables easily. So we will try for the second method, means method of multipliers. Now you choose the multiplier so that after multiplying by the that these multipliers, you, and if you add all the terms in denominator, the denominator term must be zero. Now here use the multipliers L M N. Now if we use the multipliers L M N, then each ratio means C. In numerator also you multiply by L M N because we are multiplying in denominator by L M N. So the term will be L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z upon. You multiply first term by L, so that the terms are L M Z minus L N Y. You multiply second term denominator by N, so that you will get M N X minus M L M Z. You uh, multiply third term by N, so that the term will be L N Y minus M N X. Okay. Now you do the addition of all the terms. If we do the addition, we are getting it zero here. So denominator is zero, so uh, that numerator is term is also zero, and so L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z is equal to zero. Now variables are separated because L M N are the constant terms, so here variables are separated. So integrating we get that L is constant, integration of D X is X plus M constant, integration of D Y is Y. Plus n constant integration of dz is z. So the solution is lx plus my plus nz is equal to c1 constant of integration. We are integrating, so the constant of integration is here c1 because we want two sets of solutions. So first, uh, for first set, uh, we were using here the constant of integration c1. Okay. Now again, find the second set of solutions. Suppose here. 
second set of solution is x y z means you multiply the numerator terms by x y z respectively x dx plus y dy plus z dz and in denominator also first term you multiply by x second term by y and third term by z so the terms will be here like this each ratio is equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz upon mzx minus nxy plus nxy minus lyz plus lyz minus m minus here mxz the terms are like this so mzx and last term mxz get cancelled minus nxy plus nxy get cancelled minus lyz plus lyz get cancelled so denominator we after multiplying by multiplies if we do the addition of denominator terms we are getting it zero so that numerator terms also zero so as a second uh, equation x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to zero so your variables are separated so integrating we get now integration of x with respect to x is x square by 2 middle term integration of y with respect to y is y square by 2 integration of z with respect to z is z square by 2 is equal to c2 second set of solution so constant of integration we take here c2 okay. so this is the second set of solution x square plus y square plus z square is equal to c2 so this is the example and in this example we have two sets of solution for c lx plus my plus z is equal to c1 and second set of solution is here x square plus y square plus z square is equal to c. Now second example, c. Here, yeah. solve dx upon 3z minus 4y is equal to dy upon 4x minus 2z is equal to dz upon 2y minus 3x. Now you choose the set of multipliers so that after multiplying by these multipliers. The and adding the denominator term where where the value of denominator is zero. Now using multipliers here x y z. So x y z are the multipliers. If we multiply the first term denominator by x, means the term will be three x z minus four x y is equal to denominator term middle term denominator term. We multiply it by y four x y minus two y z. And third term, we multiply it by z, two y z minus three x z. And if we do the addition of all the terms, then its value is zero here. Now the denominator term is the addition of denominator term is zero. So you multiply numerator term by also by the multiplies x y z respectively. So that we will get the term x d x plus y d y plus z d z. The denominator is zero, so obviously numerator term is also zero. X d x plus y d y plus z d z is equal to Zero. Now variables are separated, so integrating we get x square. Integration of x is x square by two. Middle term integration of y is y square by two. Third term uh, z dz. Integration of z is z square by two. Now you multiply uh, that every term by two so that we can remove the denominator term two, and so that we have the Solution x square plus y square plus z square is equal to c1. So this is the first set of solution of the example. Now another set of uh, to get the another set of solution, use here the multipliers two, three, four. It is on trial and error basis. You have to find the set uh, of multipliers in your logic. So two, three. If we multiply first term by two. Second term by three and third term by four. And if we do the addition of all the denominator terms, then we have the value zero. So this is the second set of multiplies two, three, four. Now denominator is zero. Uh, you multiply numerator also by these multiplies two, three, four. So and you do addition of all the terms. So we have the addition two dx plus three dy plus four dz upon zero. So uh, the denominator is zero, so numerator term is also zero. So two dx plus three dy plus four dz is equal to zero. Now variables are separated here, so integrating we get 
टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस फोर जेड इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू ओके सो दिस इज द सेकेंड सेट ऑफ सोल्यूशन second set of solution so here also in this example we have two set of multipliers and so we have two set set of solutions the first set uh, of solution is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to c1 and second set of solution is here 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to c2 okay now these are the examples we try to solve we take it as a homework and try to solve dx upon y minus z is equal to dy upon z minus x is equal to dz upon x minus y. The hint is given that multipliers are given one 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 and x y z. Using these multipliers, we will get two sets of solutions. Second is here. Second example, dx upon x into bracket two y raised to four minus z raised to four is equal to dy upon y in bracket z raised to four minus z x raised to four bracket complete is equal to z to z upon z into bracket x raised to four minus y raised to four. So to find the set uh, two sets of solution for the second example, uh, the sets of multipliers are here given one upon x one upon y two upon z second x to y to z. So try yourself and try to find the solutions for the same example. And so this here, the second method, method of multipliers, is over here. So we have discussed two methods to find the solution of symmetrical simultaneous differential equations. First, grouping method, which was discussed in previous lecture, and in this lecture we have discussed the second method, method of multipliers. So this topic, symmetrical simultaneous differential equation, is over here. And the all the methods topics are covered. First unit. So thank you.